שבוע טוב, הגו תבוך, a good month and a good year. אקסיו אכסימתי ונחשונתי ורומסוקו, לא נו ולכל ישראל. And it's already the beginning of the month of Elul, with everything that comes with it. Elul with all the connotations. The Rebbe brings from, from the Alter Rebbe, uh, the famous, the famous Moshal, the Alter Rebbe brings in, in Lekutei Tere, in Parshas Re'ei, not Parshas Shevtim, in Parshas Re'ei, the Alter Rebbe brings a Moshal, will open up the Lekutei Tere, my father's Lekutei Tere, that he learned in so many years, all torn, Boruch Hashem, Uh, as the Rebbe says, the beauty of a Sefer is when it's torn, not <laughs> when it looks brand new. So in Lekut HaTeyre, it's page Lamed Beis. The Rebbe mentions Tanya Peirik Lev. This is Omud Lamed Beis. There is the Moshal of the Melech Basode of the king in the field. Before we get to the king of the field, The Rebbe said that if you count the pages, the Amudim of Lekutei Tere, in the, in the Parsha of the A, you'll find 63 Amudim. In the Parsha, or only on the Parsha of the A. 63 Amudim of Lekutei Tere in the Parsha of the A. If you check how many Amudim are there in this Parsha, in the Parsha of Shevtim, it's not going to take you that long. There is no Lekutei Tere on Shevtim at all. And the Rebbe of Abelengen asked the question, are, you, are we going to say that there are no my modem of the Alter Rebbe and Pasha Shevtim? The Rebbe said, that's not the fact. There are my modem of the Alter Rebbe and Pasha Shevtim. How come there are no my modem on, on, on Pasha Shevtim or Lekutei Tere? The one who put together the Lekutei Tere is the Tzemech Tzedek. So the Tzemech Tzedek, it, it says... Uh, put together Lekut Etele out of 2,000 Maimodim of the Alta Rebbe. So in Pasha Sarei, he put 63 pages, including the Moshal of Melech Basode. Anil Edeidi, the Maima starts Anil Edeidi, Vedeidi Li, the Moshal of Melech Basode, we will get to that. <coughs> On Pasha Shevtim, he didn't put anything. And the Rebbe answered, Pasha Sarei is the Pasha of the Ei, O Nechi, Neisei, Lifneichem, Hayim, Brocho. Every word in the Pesach is indicative of a revelation of goodness, of kindness, of Belocher. Pesach Sheftim, Sheftim means judges. Sheftim means officers. It's already a Pesach where you, need, where you need judges. Because some of the people do not, do not get along for whatever reason. Of course, everybody is right. But the fact is that Not only that, it's divrei Their quarrels, their arguments. That's what it says in Pastor Shevtim. So the Tzemach Tzedek said, Azei, divrei yerives. You want to argue with your neighbor? And we're not even going in whether you're right or wrong. Everybody feels that they're right. But if there is an argument, divrei yerives bishorecho, that two people have, because of that, no look what they did for Pastor Shevtim. That's what the Rebbe answered. Now, in Pasha Tzadeh, 63 Amudim of Lekut Eteleh. I should tell you, Rabbi Isai, I once heard from my brother-in-law, the Yil Khan, Zichrini Livrocho, who said that to thank Lord Lekut Eteleh, to know Lekut Eteleh, is as difficult as to know all of Shas. Now, I started arguing, all of Shas is many Svarim, Lekut Etele is one safer, so he said, you take a look at all Amudim, and you make a cheshm, you'll see that it is as difficult to be, to know well Lekut Etele, as it is difficult to know all of Shas. That's what the Biel says. And now, let's go to the Moshal that al Rebbe brings. And it's inter interesting that this is a Moshal that all Chabad Nassim spoke about. But there is a chidush in this Moshal of the Rebbe in our generation. Let's start with the Moshal. The Moshal is Moshal Lemelech. Shekedim Bei Leir, Yetzim Anche Ho'il Likrosei. 
Amelech, before he comes into the city, the people of the city come out to greet him. And they greet him in the field. We will continue with the Moshal, but there's a question immediately. The king in the field is, is, is questionable. It's the king and the field do not go together. It's a contradiction in terms. Where does the king belong? In his royal palace. What is Sode? Sode is a field. It's not a very good place. It says in the Chumash many stories that happened to an idol, to a, to a young lady that went on the Sode. And I remember that everyone said in Amaymet, Ki basode mitzo'o, eisovi sode. Who, who runs the Sode? Esau. So how does the case of Isoda, Apostle and Chumash, everybody knows. So, so what is the king doing in his field? The king should be in the king's palace. And if the king wants to go out, then it's around the palace. It's not where all the people can come there. As we know, the way kings conduct, conduct themselves. So what is the king doing in the field? We will return to that in a moment. But first, our customary story. I heard the story from an individual who said that he heard the story from his father, who, her, with whom the story happened. His father was part of the story. His father had a friend. He was a businessman. And he says his father was not a Lubavitcher. And he, has a fr and he had a friend. Uh, in business, you need a lawyer who was a lawyer, also not a Lubavitcher. And this lawyer did a lot of what you call, what you call in America, shtick. And he got caught. And um, it was a very difficult case. So his father says to this lawyer, you know something, so many people go to the Rebbe and they get help. So Sunday morning I will go with you. Let's go to the Rebbe, we'll ask the Rebbe for the bloche. At first he didn't want, but his father said to him, you have nothing to lose. You have a difficult case. You go to the Rebbe, you get a bloche. They go to the Rebbe and he asks the Rebbe for the bloche. He has a difficult court case. So the Rebbe immediately says to him, get yourself a good lawyer. He was a man that was thinking very highly of himself. So he answers, the Rebbe, I have a lawyer. So the Rebbe repeats, get yourself a good lawyer. And he answers again, I'm a lawyer myself and I have a good lawyer. For the third time, the Rebbe said, get yourself a good lawyer. Well, the way the case was, he had a lawyer, but that lawyer corroborated with, with the other side, with the district attorney, against him, for whatever reason. So the Rebbe three times told him, get yourself a good lawyer. Unfortunately, he did not listen, and, and things were not perfect. As, as mentioned, I heard the story from, an, from the, an individual who heard it from his father. The individual is not a Lubavitcher, the father is not a Lubavitcher, the lawyer was not a Lubavitcher, but they came to, to the Rebbe for a bloche, and this is what the Rebbe said immediately. And later they found out that his own lawyer was afraid for whatever reason, sold him out. Rabbi say. Concerning the, the, the Moshal. So we already know that this is Moshal Lemelech, this is a king, that before he comes in to the city, the people of the city come out to greet him. Umikabalin Ponov Basoda, they greet him in the field, and we have the question what is the king doing in the field? The king belongs in the palace. 
And if the king wants a field around the palace, he knows how to deal with that. But he doesn't belong in the field with everyone. And as mentioned before, Sode, who governs the Sode, Esov is Sode. It's Esov. So what's the king doing in a Sode governed by Esov? And then when the king is in the field, they are allowed, and the Rebbe brings from the previous Rebbe, that the previous Rebbe adds a word, they are allowed and they have the ability. Whoever wants Lotzis to get out, and the word Lotzis is here for a reason, we'll soon see. Le Hakbil Ponov to greet the king, who Mekabil as Kulon Basiv upon the office, and he receives everyone amicably. Umal upon him Seicha Kesla Kulon. The Rebbe would all the time say Sheicha Kesla Kulon and shows everybody a smiling face, a smiling countenance. Over Lechti Hoyido when he goes into the city, Halehim Hilchim Achlov they are following him. When he comes to his royal palace, you can't just go over to the king to the palace and say, oh, I want to see the king. It doesn't work that way. You need the shoes. You have to make an application. You have to call the secretaries and ministers. And there's a whole procedure until you get to the king. If you ever get to the king, we have come say some the special people, the select few. And the same thing is concerning Chedesh Elul. Chedesh Elul, the king is in the field. Later, the king is in this palace. This is the Moshul. Over the years, Rabbi say, and the Rabbi spoke about this Moshul many, many times. Uh, it is almost safe to say that uh, every year between Elul and 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 the Fabrinians of Elul and Tisha, they never mentioned this Moshul. And there are many questions. One is the question, we said, what is the king doing in the field? Uh, and the Rebbe answers this question. Do you know what the king is doing in the field? The king is there for one reason. Because the king wants a communication with the people. The people are in the field. And therefore, the king says, I'm going to wait in my palace and think they're going, going to come to see me, and may never happen. So the king is in the field so that the people could, can come over to see the king. And when they come over, the explanation always given by Chassidim, they come over with awe. They're going to go over to the king. And what do they do when they come over? They say, Adini Amelech. Your Majesty, I am here to serve you. Do they start a conversation with the king? The way we understood it for generation, for generations, I should say, is that they do not start a conversation with the king. Do they ask the king for, for something? Until, until the Rebbe was understood that they do not. They are so awe-inspired of the king that they ask nothing. They are thrilled. They are thrilled when the king smiles at them. Because when they say, Adini Amelech, I am here, or they're coming, says that, to serve you, and the king gives them a smile, that means that they are accepted. The king could have said, you, with all the things that you did, come back next year. But the king doesn't do that. He accepts everyone, but save it from the office with a smile, shows everybody a smiling face, and greets everybody amicably. The Rebbe also says that what happens when a, when a person says, you know what, the king is in the field. Wonderful. If the king wants to rough it in the field, with all the difficult people in the field, who am I to tell the king what to do? The king, let him go to the field, let him go to the field. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm not comfortable in the field. All the amenities that I have in my house, I don't have in the field. 
I don't have a couch in the field where I can relax on the couch. Kick off my shoes and relax. Can't do that in the field. In the field, I have to push. In my living room, I don't have to push. So you know what? The king wants to be in the field like the king be in the field. I am going to be in my living room relaxed, relaxing, maybe with a cup of coffee or something. I'll relax in my house. What's going to happen then? There will never be communication between the individual and the king. Yes, he'll remain in, in his living room, but he's not going to have a communication with the king. And the king will not accept him as one of his subjects. So therefore, the Rebbe says, what did the Alter Rebbe say? It says, Ve'oz They go out. And they go out, the depth of that is, they go out of their own comfort. Yes, they're not going to be as comfortable in their house as they are in their living room. Yes, granted. But they will see the king. They will be able to say, Your Majesty, I'm here to serve you. So therefore, there has to be a yitzio. They have to leave their own comfort zone in order to meet the king. Now we ask before, do they ask the king for something? Is there, what's known in Lushen Kedosh, Bakoshas Tzorokhov, asking for their needs? And after all, it's Chedosh Elul. You want a brocha, you want a blessing for a new year. As we say in Yiddish, the Zolstons Gedenken, the Mleben Zushenken. Please remember, oh God, Almighty God, to grant us another year of life and of health and of sustenance. Can they ask the king for that? The Alter Rebbe does not mention it here. The Siyech Abad Lederesom, that we talk about the king in the field, would not mention Bakoshas Tzorokhov. As a matter of fact, it says in my modem that they are all so much awe inspired that all they do is 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 greet, is greet the king and look at the king. That's all they are. They don't they can't even open up their mouth because they are bottled, they are unold in front of the king. Comes the Rebbe in our generation with a great chidush and says, You can go over to the king and ask the king what you want. You should be signed and sealed, written and signed and sealed for a wonderful year with all the trimmings, with all the connotations that come with it. And you should have a lot of nachas. Bona chaya umizena levicha. Bona means children, nachas from children. Chaya means life and the extension of life. Good health. Umizena levicha means great sustenance. And as the Rebbe says all the time, uvikulam levicha, levicha in everything. You go over to a king, to a melech, boss of Adom, and uh, you ask him for good health and for long life, and he looks at you. He can't give you that. He doesn't have it himself. He doesn't have a guarantee what is, what's going to happen to him tomorrow. But when you come over in front of Melech Malchi Amlochim HaKadosh Baruch Almighty God himself, he can give you health, he can give you life, he can give you nachas from the children, he can give you shudukim from the children, he can give you children from the children, he can give you everything. But you have to ask, and if you ask, the Rebbe says, you are going to be answered. The Rebbe asks, however, that we are when, when you are standing in front of the king in the month of Elul, do not ask only about Bakosha Sloch of personal needs. Do not forget about the Nikudu Apanimis Viatikeno, the innermost Nikudu, that's important to all of Claudius Royal. And that is that everyone should be helped with the coming of Mashiach. So when you stand in front of the king and you're asking for Aksivaksimateva and Ashonoteva Msuka and all the good things, and you're entitled to it and you will get it in Miyat Hashem. Ask also for the Geula Ho Amitisvi Ashlema Ushnas Geulai Bo that we want to see. Finally, we're the last generation of Golos. We're the first generation of Geulo. And we have waited long enough, long enough according to all standards. And now we want to see the Geulo Hoamitis Ashlemo with our very, very own eyes.